Okay, so we're sitting here with Ty and Marie getting ready for this weekend's bare knuckle fighting championship uh, here in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what is going through your head right now? Obviously you've been cutting weight, getting ready for this big event, like how are you feeling? Um, honestly, I'm feeling better than last time. I feel that the cut is getting easier, I'm slowly getting more trust in uh, the people around me. Um, I honestly felt like the weight came off. We went lower this time. Uh, we went another 0.69 below what we weighed in the original BKFC 3. Um, so yeah, obviously the weight is probably the biggest challenge for anyone, just making weight because there's that, there's that week of the unknown. Um, but yeah, I haven't cut any corners, I've worked hard, I, I believe in myself. And yeah, to be honest, I guess right now I've just got, I guess like a food, a food rush. <laughs> I got the sugar rush coming yeah. through. <laughs> I mean, you look happy, you look ready, everything is done with the weight cut and everything. But can you also tell us a little bit, like it's been such, it must have been such a crazy time since your debut. Obviously everybody knows, like how are you, you've been the, the name on everybody's lips. Can you tell us a little bit what has happened since uh, you made your debut and, and everything? Uh, life has literally just turned the flip. I feel like I fought and within coming back to my room and you know, I think we turned the UFC on, we stayed up and watched the UFC. Um, and within that time frame, I could already feel within myself that life had changed. I had stepped more into myself. Um, everything was paying off and everything, honestly, I, I'm not even surprised that where I'm at and the things that are coming, maybe on the scale and of, of how fast it is, it's rushing towards me, that's definitely a surprise. Um, but. You know, I, I'm ready for all of this. I'm born for this. I feel like I've been made for this and I've been preparing in every chapter previously in my life. I've worn a lot of hats and, you know, they've all really just led to, to right now. Um, I have a lot more opportunities. Obviously, um, financials have gotten a lot better. Um, but the connections, I've, you know, I've lived a really colourful life and I've met a really lot of good A-listers all the way through, you know, to your garbage men. Um, and, you know, I still stay connected to all these people who have helped along the way. Um, so, yeah, yeah, right now the focus is just still BKFC, but, yeah, life has completely changed and I've just stepped into, I guess you could call it like a superstar role. Um, yeah. Definitely. Humbleness, yeah. humbleness out the window. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's it's uh, it's pretty crazy because you were the one that everybody was talking about. Well, you were sharing that card with like a Muay Thai legend, like one of the biggest <laughs> names. But it kind of like was in your shadow after that event. And obviously, you're building upon that. Uh, this this event was uh, was supposed to be in Cambodia, yeah. and so that's where you were heading. And of course, now it's been moved to Thailand. Uh, can you say something about your opponent? Is that something on your mind, or is the focus just on you and, and your performance? I think if, um, look, I haven't watched all of, I haven't watched a full fight of her. I think that should be left up to my coaches, and I do believe that they would prepare the best me. Uh, you know, I'm not worried about an opponent because you know we all evolve and change. And watching someone from the past, guess what? It's just the past. So I know that she's game, she's had more bare knuckle fights than me, she's had more fights than me, she's knocked out a man, this is nothing to be taken lightly, uh, but for me right now this is stepping into my own abilities, uh, trusting in my own like warrior sense and going out there and getting the game time um, and you know collecting information within myself, collecting information within martial arts and the boxing ring. And, and just making sure that I perform and be the best me. Like, that's number one. That is the only thing. Um, am, I dis am I like, you know, I'm not putting any shadow on Poe, but for me, there is no focus of Poe. It mm. is Ty Emery, go, go, go. Ty Emery, go, go, go. <laughs> sounds amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about like the feelings of, of fighting bare knuckle? What is it? Because we're seeing this popularity, and of course, you're part of this new wave of fighters that are really making a name. Like, what is it about bare knuckle that gets you going about this? For me, uh, and the type of character that I am, I, I feel compared to the other martial artists that I've been around, trained around, um, 
there's definitely a sense of I think they they're more able to bite their tongue and stay a little bit more silent compared to my own character and abilities. Um, I'm definitely someone who who has a lot of energy. I'm a defense player, um, so we're very like high energy, high this, high that. Um, and I feel that in BKFC, like for myself and for the other characters and athletes that have been chosen in, we are a colorful bunch. Mm. You know. Um, we're probably people who have gotten in a little bit in trouble, maybe here or there, so we're all a little naughty. Um, but yeah, I feel like I can definitely express myself and not have to hold back, whether that's with fashion, with my mouth, mm. with flashing. Mm. Um, yeah, this is the platform that's for me, and honestly, it's the best feeling in the world. I feel, you know, a lot of times I've had, I'm always getting in trouble, mate. Like, I'm always <laughs> pissing someone off. And I've always got people kind of fronting on me in the gyms and I remember this one time people were like, it was in a Muay Thai gym and they're like, if we were to just fight now, we'd, you'd probably just grapple us, wouldn't you? And I said, if we're going to fight right now, I said, I'm going to drag your ass outside into the car park and for fuck's sake, I am going to smash you into the fucking ground. We're not fucking wearing gloves. Mm. You want to fucking fight? Like, what the fuck? And so even in a response like that, mm. you can tell that I am someone who is out of discipline. While these people still felt that if we were to throw down that I would stick within a Muay Thai rule system, mm. like, come on. So I guess even in that mentality and just like, this is a one snippet, this was, you know, I had my headphones on, I was in my own world, I'm doing my own thing, preparing for my life. Um, you know, I guess people just hate on that. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are people who still stay, want to stay within their own rule set when they're just like wanting to throw down in life and I'm literally just like, yeah, we will go to the car park now, like I'm whatever. So You're for ready. me, I feel freer, like I feel like BKFC, of course I was going to end up here. Yeah. Like that's my mentality, this is the play, like playground that I want to be in, this is the playground I feel that I can become the best in because we're taking out elements of gloves, we're taking certain elements of rules. Um, we're the forefront of building this sport, um, you know, so honestly it's just the most freeing thing in the world. <laughs> and talking a little bit about the haters and everything, like obviously you got a lot of attention, like has it been like, can you talk a little bit about the reception, is it mostly positive, is it like a 50-50 or like what, what, how has it been? For me it's, it's only been positive, mm. I've heard people be so inspired. Obviously, the glo literally the globe mm. like took this moment and ran with it from newspapers, radio stations, websites, like, you name it. Mm. I'm pretty sure I was on there. Um, so for me, it was always a lot of positive reception, and I'm a pretty positive person. Like even in a negative situation, I can find a positive out of all of that. Um, so yeah, for me, it was all positive. Only up until recent where the interviews are coming back and people are, I guess, putting in front of my eyes with, that I've stirred some feathers within like a few fellow BKFCs or a few other fellow martial artists. Mm. And even for that, I just put it as a positive spin because it's really just someone else's opinion. So You have a positive spin even on the haters. Yeah, of course. Why yeah. not? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, seeing you as a female and in, in a male-dominated sport, and I mean, I guess a lot of people are looking up to you, and especially when you have this combination of beauty and savagery and everything, and now you're getting the spotlight. Like, what do you want to say to maybe young girls or aspiring females that are looking to make a, a name for themselves? Well, for one, maybe not look to me, no. <laughs> no, 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 I love that. I love putting that pressure on myself. Um, I love the youth. I think the youth is, you know, that's where we can change the future. Um, for me, I focus on myself and we have to be the change that we wish to see in the world. And if me, by just being myself, can inspire young girls and boys to you know, pick up a paintbrush or pick up a set of gloves, like, to follow your dreams, of course, like, that's such a special thing, and I think with great power comes great responsibility. Are we someone's parent when we're put into situations like this? Like, no, I don't think to a certain degree we can have, you know, I guess that placed upon us, but there has to be a level of acceptance in knowing that we play a vital role in inspiring, in inspiring the youth. Um, so obviously for all of that, like I just, I hope that they can be true to themselves, whether they're being laughed at or teased and just know that they, you know, 
that's just not their people. That's a that's that's not a bad thing. This is just a redirection to the people that truly will resonate with you and will truly love to have you around. So we cry, we pick ourselves up, we give ourselves that five minutes to be upset, and then you know we carry on the search for the things we love, the people we love, the people that love us back, um, and just to never give up. I've never quit. I'm, I've never quit on anything. I've never quit on anything, and that's a superpower within itself. That's a discipline within our mind. Um, so yeah, that's what I'd want the youth to know: is like find what make it, find what makes you glow, and find what you think about before you go to bed, and find what makes you happy, like in any moment. You know, even if that's just blowing bubbles, like you'll find whatever it is, because we all love different things, and different things give us energy. So. Yeah, I just hope that yeah, it can help kids to figure out like what they really like and to have the heart to go for it. Inspiring words. So a, a couple of questions just regarding Cambodia because they were you were set to go there and people were talking yeah, about sure. you. Yeah, they were talking about it and would love to welcome you over there once uh, we get it uh, over to Cambodia. Do, do you know anything about Cambodia from beforehand from our Cambodian fans? I only know a little bit about Cambodia because mm. I've got a few friends who are Playboy bunnies over in the Philippines. Mm. So I was looking forward to having them as the ring card girls. Mm. Um, outside of that, I know that you know you've got Pacquiao. Um, so the level of boxing is high, like they have amazing technique over there, like they're, the, they're on the forefront. I've heard a lot of, about uh, the boxing over there. And so for that I was really excited, um, I was really excited to, I guess, face someone with that sort of level of technique um, and put that in, you know, the squared circle where we can, things are a little bit more matched up um, against someone like myself. I haven't been boxing since I was a little kid, but I've got definitely something else, and I feel like that's where what puts me in the positive, maybe over someone who's, you know, been in this boxing gym and, and knows knows the puzzle better than what I do, because um, I'll just break your little puzzle and <laughs> play my own game, you know. If you're not winning the game, stop playing the game. Yes. And also we're writing, uh, we're talking uh, a lot of fans from Sweden, so I come uh, write for a Swedish uh, news well, outlet. G'day Sweden! Yes, uh, anything, any words, any thoughts about Sweden? Because we're looking obviously to have the bare knuckle, we have, a, we have a Swedish fighter also representing Sweden here. Any thoughts and words for our Swedish fans? Uh, I love your chocolate. I just had, uh, it was a, what was it, it was a caramel brittle and it was like in a bar. So I want to say thank you Swedes for... Sweden or Switzerland? I think it's Dane. Hmm? Dane. Dane? Dane from De Denmark? Oh, sugar, am I wrong country? <laughs> it's in Ikea. Uh, mm, I don't know about this one. Ikea's it can't Swedish, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. It's definitely Swedish. Yeah, yeah. okay, gotcha. Yeah, because... So thank you for, for the chocolate. <laughs> thank you for the chocolate. Thank you for the chocolate. No, um, yeah, of course. Thanks for the support. Yeah. Always thanks for the support. I can't wait to get over there. I would love to be able to travel with BKFC mm. and help promote this brand mm. and be able to travel. Like, what? Well, that's the best thing. Not just meet the people, but I really feel through this sport or any sport like you get to experience a different I guess people are more willing to show their culture and bring you into their house and and actually sit and eat and like really be a part of people's lives and, and I think that's the difference and the accessibility that I'm going to be able to have by having this role um, and like that's exciting to me I love meeting like all different cultures, I love finding what's different, I like finding what's different mentally um, and then I think through everything you know there is always cultural differences within everyone but I love finding those similarities and I think the similarities for all of us is like everyone just wants to be good people and be happy and you know everyone's, when you're around new cultures you, you see how proud people are to share certain traditions and yeah that's what I'm excited about getting over to Sweden, Cambodia, mm. back to America, you name it. Like, mm. I want to go everywhere. For people, obviously, now we're talking a lot about the fans and people that are, uh, are uh, they know about Thai Emery and everything, <laughs> but for those who, who have, have not seen you fight and perform, what can they expect this weekend? Uh, this weekend, you will see a disciplined and focused Thai Emery. Uh, I can't. I hope to be able to control my emotions a lot more to be able to execute. Um, I feel that in being able to execute a better game um, and a calmer game that I can be able to bring the knockout and the KO 
um, earlier than the minute 41. Um, I think that this is a good test of being able to see that. Um, and I think this is a good test for me to be able to put that against someone with such, t you know, man, she got experience. The experience can trump anything. Um, but yeah, I think you can see a lot of power. I'm feeling good. I have just got cut down smaller than you know, what, I've, what, what we've done in the past. I'm feeling strong. I'm mentally feeling the best that I've felt. I've got the right people around. Like, I'm in a good place. Mm. And guess what? A happy fighter is a bloody dangerous fighter because once we're in there, like, as all smiles, like, the disrespect goes out the wall as soon as they fucking say that. Like, that's where it's, like, go time. Like, I'm here to kill you. We're not playing. Like, I'm here to try and kill you. We're allowed. This is what we signed up for. I did the same thing in football. As soon as, soon as the whistle blew, like, I was allowed to try and kill you. So, you know, I think that's exactly what you're going to see out of me. I think everybody can see that I take certain aspects of my life completely serious. And, you know, other we got the balance. The other side, I'm not so serious. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much for your time and good luck this weekend. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.